The Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda says Japan's fiscal situation is dire. It has a mountain of debt and an aging population. He's convinced lawmakers to raise the consumption tax and modify the social security system. Members of the upper house have enacted a financial reform package. The main opposition Liberal Democratic Party and its ally New Komeito supported the ruling Democratic Party in passing the bills. The Prime Minister had to agree to dissolve the lower house soon and call a general election in exchange. He technically didn't have to do that until next summer. The legislation will raise the consumption tax from 5 to 10 percent by 2015. Lawmakers in the lower house passed the financial reform package in June. Note as DPJ negotiated with the opposition on that vote as well. Japan society is aging at a rate faster than any in the world, at a speed humankind has never experienced. Social security costs are growing by nearly 13 billion dollars a year. Someone has to bear the burden to support that. Let me promise you that all the taxpayers' money collected by the tax hike will be paid back to the Japanese people in the form of social security. All of it will be used for social security. Prime Minister Noda, he gains by the raising the consumption tax and reforming the social mm -hmm. security system at the same time. Is this a win-win situation for the Prime Minister as well as for Japan? Well, in short, uh, Noda has steered Japan away from a financial crisis, at least for now. Mm -hmm. You know, the country faces, uh, carries a greater proportion of debt on its books than any other developed nation in the world. And net public debt is rising uh, second by second. Paying for Social Security is putting an increasing strain on national finances. Plus, the government is paying billions of dollars in the aftermath of last year's earthquake, tsunami, and nuclear accident. Noda has emphasized that Japan should not end up like Greece. Mm. Japan has avoided financial crisis, as you say, but it still has one of the biggest debts among mm -hmm. the G7 countries. Is the tax hike enough to balance uh, Japan's budget going forward? Well, Noda says it's only a step toward dealing with the aging, aging population and growing debt. He admits that uh, raising the consumption tax up to 10% is not a complete solution for restoring fiscal health. As far as the tax rate goes, uh, we are now coming closer to what governments in other developed nations collect. Noda has suggested that there's still room to increase the rate beyond 10%. But th that's not a popular stance among politicians and voters. Many Japanese are still against the tax hike. They want Noda to do more to slash wasteful government spending. How does the passage of this bill affect Japanese politics? Well, the Prime Minister has staked his political career on this issue. So now he can say that uh, he has fulfilled his pledge to the public. But Noda has to give something up for the opposition's support. So he has to call a general election soon, even though he and his DPJ are suffering record low public support. The Democrats took power three years ago, after 50 years of almost uninterrupted rule by the LDP. But many Japanese voters are tired of these established parties. You know, a couple of new parties are expected to win a relatively high proportion of seats. But it will be still difficult for any party to secure a majority alone. You know, they have to work together and struggle to form a new coalition government. I would like to explain something historical to better your understanding. Japan used to be ruled by a king, the emperor. Even in this 21st century, the concept of individual rights as a citizens compared to the West may seem kind of shallow and not ingrained into us yet. Parents and teachers used to tell children the best thing you could do was to die for the country. Kamikaze pirates in the war embodied this uh, Japanese spirit. In World War II, they always told us that we were winning every battle. No one knew about Okinawa, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. It's exactly the same now. The current government that is not telling people what is happening is the same as we have had since World War II. In Japan's history, one of the highest ideas is to kill all of one's emotions. The government knows this. Japanese people are not used to protesting or speaking back. 
keep your country alive by killing yourself. I think the way to save the children at Fukushima is to get the world involved. If we don't protect our children now, it will be too late when we are the second Chernobyl. Not allowing the children to escape is a murder. Experts from the International Atomic Energy Agency have ended a two-week fact-finding mission to the Onagawa nuclear plant in northeastern Japan. The plant was located 70 kilometers from the epicenter of last year's earthquake. But unlike Fukushima Daiichi, it managed to avert a severe accident. NHK World's Kaho Izumitani reports. The main purpose of the IAEA mission to Onagawa was to determine why it was able to withstand last year's earthquake and tsunami without any major malfunction. The team concluded that the structural elements remain remarkably unaffected given the magnitude and duration of the ground motion. This indicated that there were significant margins in the design. The experts are planning to supply data to IAEA member countries so they can conduct their own safety assessments. They also requested the Japanese government to allow similar missions to other plants in the near future. Recent investigations into Fukushima accident have pointed out the government's failure to implement IAEA safety recommendations before the nuclear crisis. The question now is to what extent Japanese authorities will accept to cooperate with the agency. Kahoizumitani, NHK World, Tokyo.